Good day everyone, this is Junaid Khan, a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and thank you very much for being on my channel where we always talk about the updated policies and procedure regarding Canadian immigration and sometimes we also talk about the different cases and as well as what are the different positions you can apply uh, for the Canadian immigration and TRVs as well. So today uh, is an important video because I've been dealing with a lot of spousal immigration cases under the family class and there are so many questions and sometimes uh, where I see people are really stuck they normally send me messages or emails and I normally respond it back to them but there are many cases I have seen which people normally just apply whenever they gather their documentation but they come across with multiple documentation from immigration after their application is submitted that they don't really pay attention before that once they are gathering everything. So in regards to the spousal uh, immigration under the family class, we are going to talk about uh, um, important things before you submit your application. So first of all, we're going to talk about who is going to be the sponsor and uh, who can be a sponsor and what are the eligibilities for being a sponsor. Uh, sponsor means the person who is 18 years old and above being a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident living in Canada is basically a sponsor who can actually apply for the sponsorship of their uh, family members. And later in the video, we will also talk about uh, which family member and which categories and which relationships they can actually uh, apply in this particular stream. So sponsor is somebody who is in Canada, a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident, 18 years old, got married to someone outside Canada, they can sponsor them. They can also sponsor their spouses and their children or they can also sponsor the spouse and having a children together. So these are the multiple categories and, and they are. So first of all, we need to understand one thing. There are three kind of relationships which Canada's admit being uh, if you want to apply in this category. So number one, if a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident um, got married to someone who is not Canadian, who is from any country, can be from any country, uh, but not Canadian, they can actually uh, apply for the spousal immigration application. So, so first category would be if someone is married to uh, illegally married to a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident. Second relationship which is also acceptable and it's called common law partner. Now, the common law partner relationship is basically someone uh, where a Canadian national or a permanent resident is not legally married to that person, but they have been living together uh, as in, in a relationship for one year without any gaps. So if two people are living together in a relationship, but not married yet, uh, and they're they're living together for about a one year and there are multiple options that you can prove that you can prove that with uh, uh, the electricity the hydro and the telephone bills on the same addresses and the mails on the same addresses or their bank accounts on the same addresses and definitely uh, in this application particularly immigration always ask for the communications and all that stuff as well so this is the second relationship we were talking about which is a common law partner. Other than the common law partner, there is another relationship which is also acceptable in this category and that is conjugal partner. So conjugal partner is someone who is basically not living together, but they are in a relationship for one year and they cannot be together because of the immigration processes and they don't have the visas and not getting the visas and because of the same sex uh, relationship and uh, acceptability of a different uh, countries and, and rules and procedures about it so that they are conjugal partners and they can also apply for that and definitely there are measures which immigration is going to take to prove your relationship as a conjugal partner i mean uh, we can go deeper into it but then video is going to be very long 
uh, I will try to make a separate video of the, each of the relationship where immigration uh, is accepting these uh, application uh, to be applied as a sponsorship. So these are the relationship we talk about. Now, important part here is the question is, what are the limitation and what are the policies implemented on a person who's sponsoring someone from outside Canada? It's not like if you are a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident, you can sponsor your spouse, period. No, there are multiple other points which a sponsor should look into before you start into the application. And these are the part where a lot of applicants have missed because under their understanding, they think that if they are a Canadian national or a permanent resident, they can just sponsor anyone, whoever they get married. Okay, so if you would go into the, the sponsor's point of view, uh, must be 18 years old, Canadian national, permanent resident. These are the very, very uh, one thing which is normal. This is supposed to be like that. But if you have taken a loan, loan and never uh, given it back to the Canadian government, there are uh, difficulties that you might not eligible for the sponsorship. If you have sponsored someone before in a similar category and the period is less than five years, yet again, you are not eligible to sponsor another spouse. This is, this is the point where a sponsor should be very, very careful. I mean, it's common, like, you know, you sponsor someone uh, a couple, two, three years ago as a partner, conjugal partner or a married person, but now the marriage is null and void and, and the person got into the divorce. But again, you cannot just sponsor right away and married someone again right away and you cannot sponsor right away. There are some time periods you need to understand before you start a new sponsorship application. Uh, other than that, if you apply for a bankruptcy, let's say, if you are Canadian national or a permanent resident and applied for a bankruptcy recently, then definitely you are not eligible to sponsor a spouse. Um, so th there's a list. I mean, again, there are several points. I just picked a few of them uh, just to make uh, the understanding of the eligibility of the sponsor. Similarly, there is eligibility for the spouse as well, who is getting sponsored from another country into the Canada. And in that eligibility, there are several points. I'll try to take a, a few points on the screen as well at this time. You can look into it and definitely you can also refer it to uh, the Canadian immigration website and you will find everything in detail. But there are a few points which are not commonly asked and not commonly looked into uh, and they're a little hard to understand. You can also contact us to make it simpler for you and to explain everything in that regard. Now, these are just the eligibility matters. I'm also gonna take few minutes in this video to make you guys understand, let's suppose if the sponsor and a person being sponsored from another country, they both are eligible to apply, they're getting married or having in a common law relationship or a conjugal relationship. Now what to do before you make your application active or before you apply into the system? Uh, in this application, immigration is very particular about your relationship because if you look into it, a person being sponsored, immigration is not looking into their age, their education, their work experience, their English proficiency. Everything is basically aside in this sort of application. The only one thing is going to be very much considered as the proof of relationship and if the relationship is legit and not a basically uh, just make up the relationship for this application. So this is one thing which is going to be examined very thoroughly. Before you apply this application, there are certain things I always uh, told my clients that you should start working on it. If you are, let's suppose if you are getting married in the next couple of months, you can start collecting your documents, both of them. The, the sponsor and the person being sponsored, they both start, need to start collecting documents in that phase. Um, you know, if you are doing shopping uh, in regards to your marriage, you have to collect those receipts. If you have booked uh, uh, for a ceremony, if you book a place uh, to conduct a ceremony over there, you have to have those receipts. If you have, uh, definitely immigration is going to look into your distance of your 
if you are a, have a long distance relationship you know you if you have sending gifts to each other uh, you make sure that you save those receipts uh, your your chats your whatsapp chats or any application you are using your emails uh, your phone call records because i know there are some applications which not really provide you the call logs for for a long period so you should start taking the the screenshots of that because you will definitely have to uh, 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 put in your application while applying this application so in this particular application you would have to start working on it before even you get married if you want to and even once you get married you need to make sure that the relationship documents are going to be there i mean i'm not going to talk about the the marriage certificate and the marriage license i mean definitely these documents are the main heading of it but other than these documents your communications your gift receipts your um you know your shopping uh, letters from your friends and family you know uh, the pictures of the events itself is going to be there and there are so many other supporting documents which you have to have in this application to make your process faster because in this application specifically if you just add the the required document and you do you cannot provide a supporting documents in regards to your relationship then the the case might take a little longer than expected but the good news is um if i talk about uh, sponsorship uh, from pakistan uae india and multiple other countries um this government uh, and especially the immigration department has taken a very close measures to speed up the process i realize uh, if you talk about a couple of years ago the immigration process for the spousal visa application takes about like 2 years to 1/2 years it was pretty normal but if i talk about 2024 and 2023 most of my application got approved in about 6 months to 8 months to maximum 9 months depending on uh, their relationships and depending on the documents they have provided so if you want to speed up your process make sure you have a lot of supporting documents to prove your relationship over there I mean this is not the topic which I can cover in in couple of minutes um definitely if you are into this process or if you are willing to start this process if you are getting married sooner to a Canadian national or if you are in Canada and planning to get married somewhere outside Canada you can definitely uh, approach us and we can definitely guide you regarding the documentation before even you get married or before you want to start your application because you should be very much prepared if you want to apply this application and getting the results in a in a timely manner thank you very much